Hey everyone, we're here with Flip the Land, who just got top 16 at YCF Chicago. What did you play this weekend? Uh, I played Guru Control. Alright, okay. do you want to just get into the Sub-tier. football? Yeah. So I played three Guru. This is like the new car that came out of Savage Strike. Uh, Books of Moon is a monster. Really good with dealing with Colossus and problem cards. Uh, three Fiendus. Center to the Grave. Uh, Book of Moon of one of your guys. Which has synergy with the deck, of course, because you can point your guys that have like, flip effects and stuff. And then it negates anything. So it's really good to negate stuff like Eradicator. You don't have to worry about Twin Twister, Duster, Mind-gages. getting engages. <laughs> uh, you don't have to worry about getting evenly matched going second because you just have this to negate it. Unless they have two, like Calvin in top 16. But <laughs> Also, a thing to note uh, with this card, uh, it negates the activation. Yeah. So uh, with the Thunder effects, you can like negate the, the Hawk effect and then it negates the, act- the activation. So then that way they can't make the Colossus and stuff. It's really, really good against that deck. Yeah. Uh, one Umastrix, uh, this guy you can summon from your hand with one of your sub terrors or set face down, and then he can set himself face down like your gear armor. And whenever he's flipped, he banishes a monster. So it's kind of like the boss monster of the deck. It helps you like deal with problem cards. And it's really good with the trap because it comes 4700, 4, so it helps kill people. Um, hand traps, three ash, two Valor. Uh, it's a trap deck, so it kind of sucks going second. So you want some stuff to like interact with your opponent on their turn and you know slow them down a little bit. Uh, Ash was really good. This card doesn't need to be explained. Um, these were ogres. Yes. And then uh, because ogre like destroys the monster, which is good because I like sometimes has trouble beating big guys. But uh, I'm glad we played this instead. It's really good against stuff like Kigari. You can the thunder deck is what yeah the mostly thunder. because they can chain block chaos dragon maybe in here and yeah. uh, you came with that and it's just yeah. super good. Against summon sword against our Yuja. Really glad we played this over ogre. Uh, spells. Three Hidden City. Uh, this is the best card in the deck. Sort of the new guys. Uh, two Terra for me. Three is the card of the weekend. Uh, you don't use your extra deck at all, so it just says draw two free cards. Uh, three Duality. You want to see your Hidden Cities, your trap cards, stuff like that. Just for consistency. Uh, three of the trap. Uh, Chester was playing two, but I just feel like I really wanted to open this card. So because if you open Hidden City with like either this Phoenix or Guru, you can have like the full setup. You can search all the cards you need. Because you usually want to end on with the Hidden City, Guru, and a Phoenix with the Trap. So you just want to see one of them so Hidden City can search the other two. Uh, and then for all the Floods, the reason why the deck is so good. Uh, it's kind of like Striker and Ultra Guys. You know, it's like a Trap deck, super slow, grindy. You can't OTK your opponent or anything. But... It's kind of like altar guys and stuff where it's like a trap deck but this deck can play all of the floodgates because they're all earth so it goes in and they're all different types so you can play deck and only be one and it's like it's good going first really good a lot of decks. yeah it's really good against all decks. it's good going first and it's good going second because like if they have a board you know you just set it and then pass they might face flip it and then it clears the board. <laughs> three impermanence uh it's good going first another hand trap going second you want to slow your opponent down as much as possible uh, one song, you get to evenly matched. Uh, just generic, good just generic like good card. Uh, one warning, three strike. This is like the best trap. Then he gets the summon of the Scott Shocker links and stuff like that. Such a good card. <clears throat> uh, extra, I just played 15 Reef and Tigers. Amazing. <laughs> just, just a bunch of random shit. Because you never use your extra eggs, so. Just what I thought I would see this weekend. Oh, the side deck? This is probably like the most important part of the deck. It's just, it's really weird. You have a bunch of weird mashups and your, your cards are just, ah, God. it's just so weird with the new band list, a new set, you don't know what anybody's gonna play. So, siding was really difficult, but three finger tops, uh, it's huge, deals with problem cards, really good going second, which are good struggles with. Deck. Good against the as a thought deck. Uh, Three Inspector Border. This card is amazing. You just go first. You summon this against Thunder Dragon with some traps. Dang, yeah, dangerous. Uh, three Reaper just for the stuff. Uh, it can be a blowout. Uh, three Heavy Storm Duster or a Mirror if for some reason I played it. Uh, Trick Star, Striker. Probably should have made this, but this card's really good. Uh, three Evenly Matched. This is like the only way to deal with the Thunder Dragon deck going second. And that random zombie deck. And that random zombie deck Jeff was playing, yeah. This card's, this card's really good because like if you can just blow them out and then play something like a hidden city that's a plus two, you just you get so far out ahead, resource, out resource them. Yeah. With the deck, you basically just want to survive your first turn and then your follow up will either kill them or 
you just completely take over the game, just like striker. So, uh, any changes you would make, matchups you want to talk about, or shout outs you want to give? Uh, shout out to TCS uh, for sure. Thanks for all the cards. Shout out to Chester. Uh, we worked on the deck this past week. Um, I don't know, would you change anything? Probably the Reaper inside. Reaper in the side, yeah. Never really used it. Probably main dusters. Ma that. Yeah, main dusters. That's probably about, yeah, that's probably about it. Hand traps and everything was good. The sub tier cards were good. Uh, did you like Nemesis Archer? I thought it was crazy. You liked it? It's cool. You can like use Archer to like crash into like Lycrises. You can use it to just, it just gives you access to Guru, which is why I like the, like, you win if you get access to that card. So like, you have to like, play that card. It's yeah, so good. You play that. Or you can, uh, we were turning out sub tier Cave Clash. So that's whenever it inflicts battle damage, you can add one of your sub tier cards back from your grave. So it's really good in the, like, in the mirror or like uh, against Striker. Whenever you're grinding, you can keep recycling your Phoenixes. Might consider playing that, but nope, besides that, this is pretty good. I'm glad it would perform really well with it. Yeah. No I, one expected it. <laughs> right, well, congratulations. Thank you.